Now, Storm Team 2 Chief Meteorologist Brian Davis with the Miami Valley's certified most accurate forecast. Yeah, some uh, pretty strong tornadoes moving through the area tonight. We saw some of those debris signatures even way up north. And our forecast tonight, you're going to see temperatures back off through the 60s into the upper 50s. Uh, we're going to be looking at some showers, still a little bit of thunder out there for maybe another hour or two, uh, but that should gradually fade away overnight and some lingering showers still around the area early in the day tomorrow. 51 at 8 o'clock with a chance at some of those showers, 51 at noon and 55 at 5 o'clock as we get some breaks in the clouds later in the day. So we'll drop down around 50 degrees tonight. Still have the tornado watch until midnight for the southern part of the Miami Valley, but really uh, the risk pretty much out of here for Springfield, Eaton, Dayton, Xenia. Still a chance of severe weather down south into Warren and Clinton counties. Matter of fact, a new severe thunderstorm warning in effect for the far southern parts of those counties until midnight. Mostly it's down toward the Cincinnati area, that latest warning that has come out. And you can see those stronger cells moving east and southeast across Clinton County and passing to the southeast of us. Just mainly some rain around the Dayton area, occasionally a lightning strike or two. And uh, the bulk of the severe weather now southeast down to uh, Kentucky, into Kentucky and down into Tennessee, uh, southern Ohio, where severe thunderstorm watches and tornado watches are still in effect tonight with a strong line of storms moving southeast across southern Illinois. We'll see the temperatures only drop off slowly next several hours, then late tonight, Cold front comes through, the winds turn to the north, that'll pull numbers down toward 50 degrees around 9, 10 o'clock in the morning. It won't get much warmer tomorrow afternoon. 51 up north, Greenville, Sydney, Bell Fountain, 53 in Troy. Looks like we'll be up into the mid 50s here, upper 50s to near 60 south. Our time lapse, Troy Stouter Center camera. You saw that sunshine out there for a while, and you can see those strong storms moving through with all the lightning strikes, the heavy rain the gusty winds. Right now we're at 63. Speaking of gusty winds, still a strong wind out there west at 25 miles per hour. 84% on the relative humidity. The barometer rising now. It's already cooled off to 55 at Richmond, 59 Urbana. But then we have that blue area northwest. That's where temperatures right now are slipping off into the upper 40s and low 50s. That cooler air headed our way. We'll see some showers. Still a few thunderstorms next hour or two. Looks like the severe weather threat coming to an end. Still could be some locally heavy rain, especially south. Uh, 50 the overnight low. Late night is when we'll finally start that cool off as winds turn around to the north towards sunrise. A few morning showers tomorrow, then clouds mixed with little afternoon sun. And 55 degrees for the high and north wind at 10 to 15. And Saturday looks like a nice day, even though it's chilly in the morning, upper 30s around 60 in the afternoon and mostly sunny. St. Patrick's Day, partly cloudy, 53. Snow showers are going to be likely on Monday as we get in on some unseasonably cold air. 30 in the morning with a high of 40, down in the 20s. Tuesday morning, high 47 and partly sunny. Wednesday looks dry and mostly sunny, but a chance of showers coming back into the area on Thursday.